Hey guys, it's Wes back with another video. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. I've been busy with work and stuff, so it's hard to make, you know, videos. Um, but anyways, I wanted to make a video about my Four Horsemen uh, four pack. Uh, do a little review on it. Um, so anyways, got this four pack off of a eBay here for around 40 bucks which is a good price because uh I believe Target was selling them for around the same price you know 40 to 50 bucks so good price on that um so this is the I guess you can call it the elite uh set because they're not all basic they're all the basic ones, I mean, they all move, but the Adamans don't move. So, uh, the Elite does. So, I guess you call this the Elite set. But, uh, this is for the Four Horsemen. This is a Hall of Fame edition from their 2012 class. Uh, check out the back. It's got the pictures of all of them. Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Barry Windham, and Tolly Blanchard. Pretty cool little packaging. I really like it. Uh, sides. Same thing. Really nice packaging. I really like the background of it. Of the Hall of Fame. And I like the color of the blue and gold. So. Very nice looking package. Uh, figures look really good too. Yeah, you know. They all look just about the same. Flair or Anderson. Barry Windham, Tolly Blanchard. I really like the details in their boots too. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's get into the autographs. Um, so I actually got all these at one event. Uh, thanks to WrestleCon. They, this was up in New York last year. And uh, yeah, it was one of those Four Horsemen reunions. So... I did get the photo op with all them plus uh JJ Dillon. So really cool photo op, one of my favorites. And uh decided to get this for all of them. I thought it was something that it was doable that I can just get all of them in one day and I did. So very cool. Um I did chose to do uh you know different colors for different ones. Or, you know, you, you guys see it, white, red, white, red. I didn't want to do one color because it would look all mixed, you know, or it looked all cluttered, you know. So I want to do, stick with the uh, outfits. They got like black and white and red. So I want to stick with the white and red. Uh, but anyways, let's go into it. Uh, the first one I got that day was uh, Arn Anderson. As you can see, I got them in red. And now uh, you put the number four there, which is cool. Um, not the best autograph. Uh, all of his autographs are the same. The rice really small. But uh, no big deal. I still like it. Um, the second autograph I got was uh, Tolly Blanchard. Again, I got him in red. Uh, pretty nice autograph. Uh... He wrote the, I believe that's a Bible verse, 517. That's pretty cool. And uh, the third person I got was Barry Windham. Got him in white there. Uh, again, not the best autograph, but I like it. Uh, put Hall of Fame 2012 on it, so I thought that was cool. And last but not least, Ric Flair. Um, he was probably the longest line I waited that day. Um, these other people were like 10 minutes, maybe not even, um, well, I believe Blanchard was around 15 cause he had a long line, but Flair, I think I waited, at, well, let's say under hour and a half, maybe. I know he took a break when I was in line, lunch break, and he took a bathroom break, so no big deal, but it was well worth it. I like his autograph. Really clean. 
the white came out really good. I was really surprised on the white. Um, just came out just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, very clean autograph, but 16 time, which I thought was cool. But yeah, waited about an hour and a half. It was well worth it though. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, all of them were really cool guys. Uh, just, you know, legends. Uh, Grandpa loved watching these people. Uh, he loved the heels, so pretty cool to, you know, meet them. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, I think my only complaint is... I wish they would have, like, uh, J.J. Dillon in there. I think that would have been a lot cooler. I think they could have definitely made a five-hack. Could have put him, like, right in the middle there or something. Because he was also with the uh, Four Horsemen, and he was a part of that class. Or he was abducted with them. So, not sure why they couldn't make a J.J. Dillon figure, but... No, it is what it is. I do have a buddy of mine that has the same one. He has uh, all three of them, but Ric Flair. And he did have J.J. Dillon sign the top, which I thought was cool. So I might might go back and do that. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's really about it. One of my favorite, uh, you know, multi-packs. Uh, it's actually the only four-pack I got in my collection that's autographed. Uh, the rest I got is all, you know, two-pack or three-packs. So, pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, I know I'm not doing that many videos as I used to. So, work's been obviously getting in the, right, in the way. So, which, you know, that happens. Um, yeah, I got my Four Horsemen shirt there. Um... But yeah, I was going to maybe do another couple review videos. Um, not sure yet, but it won't be like an everyday thing like I used to do. Uh, I know I got an event coming up. It's in my local town here. Uh, I'm going to meet Bob Orton. Uh, so I'm going to have him probably sign a couple items, so... There'll probably be a video on that in about two weeks or so. Um, and then there's this thing called WrestleCon. It's up in uh, it's up in uh, Tampa. It's about a two-hour drive from here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go to WrestleCon, and there's going to be a bunch of wrestlers there. So that's going to be a good video one day. That one's up. That one's going to be in April. So I will make a... Uh, what do you call it? A autograph haul for that one. That one's going to be pretty nice. Um, actually, I might, with the uh, Bob Orton video, I might show you guys a list and show you what I'm going to get. So that'd be a cool little video. But as of right now, you got this video. The Four Horsemen. Can't beat that. Uh, so, but anyways, guys, go ahead and like and subscribe. Appreciate all the views. And, uh, again, I'll, I'll try to make more videos when I can. So, anyway, you guys have a good one.